Good morning and thank you for spending just a couple of quick minutes with me. I know I love you guys. Jesus loves you. God loves us. And every single day I am so thankful for another opportunity to be able to share and to witness and, and to just calm down. Just calm down. I sometimes over sensualize things that I see because I see things in a different light for lack of a better term monology and I always see one motorcycle cop you know they patrol the area whatever but today I saw three motorcycle cops three and I just yesterday during homeschool was explaining um, to the kids about the global economy and, you know, to, to let them know about money and how money buys food and water and and that there's this new system that's being put in place and because I I don't want anybody to not understand what the future has in store for people I mean if you're a human being this is stuff that you would want to know about especially when the banks are not going to have any money I mean, if you just think about that for, for like a minute, if you depend on money to get food, to pay your bills, to, for, for basic necessities of life, and then you hear like, I don't know if it's a rumor or maybe it's like the, it's the May 2016 YouTube rumor, but you know, supposedly the banks are going to fail. And it's definitely going to happen again this year. But for some reason, it was supposed to like for sure, for sure happen last year. But it didn't. But it did over in a different country. You know, I'm just, I guess what I'm trying to do is connect the dots here. Because when you understand that Jesus Christ died for the entire world. And then you and then you read the word and it says in the last days there's not going to be any peace there's going to be mass killings and deaths and there's going to be up earthquake and and you see all of it you see all of it it's right here it's right now and Jesus isn't going to come back until there's a great falling away first and I know what that means it means when you are not able to to have money to buy your food and then and then all of a sudden maybe there's this ca catastrophe in your neighborhood and it affects your house see people can only take so much I've been broken down spiritually speaking like a, a couple of times at least a couple of times and what I mean by that is I've lost everything and have had to start over from from nothing I've had I've had I've had daughters t like kept away from me beyond my control what am I gonna do you know I mean there's only so much you can do and and you if you go to the cops and say you guys need to help me because a court order is being violated and they look at you and say take him back to court and you're like I don't know where he lives and they're like well, it's not our problem you know sometimes you could feel like the system is not for you but it's against you and when you understand that what I'm saying is true the system is against you 
It is. I'm not lying. I'm not making any of this up. If you are going to cost the government money, especially right now, I, I don't know how many people rely on that, the big card and the food stamp card. It's, it's not going to be around for very much longer. It's really, really not. And I don't say this to scare anybody. I just want people to know we're living in the last days. We're living in the time where the Antichrist makes everybody's life miserable. The governments are being used by the Lord to wake people up. Now, if you look at what's going on in Venezuela, which I just recently, just recently got a glimpse of what's going on in Venezuela. Major corruption in government. Major corruption. And another thing, I, I actually saw this in a video a week or two ago, where there's no gun zones. So imagine if there's no gun zones, your mind is going to be, oh, good, this is a safe place to be. Wrong. You're a target. Now, now you're unarmed. No guns. Nothing. And now there's people that can either drive by with guns or, for whatever reason, go on a shopping spree because drugs are just taking people's minds and just turning them into zombies. They don't even know that they're still on planet Earth. They think they're invincible and that they've gotten their new bodies. And it's, it's, it's really, really strange what's going on in the world today. It's really strange. It, I don't, you know, we've got these police states everywhere it makes you feel like like a prisoner. It does. And I'm not saying I feel like I'm a prisoner, but in a good way, I do feel like I'm a prisoner for the Lord. I feel like I can stand outside and watch three motorcycle cops drive by me and they don't even see me. You know, they. I'm, I'm invisible. You know, what am I doing? I'm, I'm, I'm a traveler. I'm trying to wake people up because when the Lord Jesus comes to take his bride away, are you ready? If you're not ready, now's the time. Now's the time not only to search your own heart, but search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Search it right here. Search the scriptures. Understand what's getting ready to happen. This is a global thing. This is a global thing. Calm down. Don't hate me. I'm just a messenger. But when you're not able to get your money... How much time do we have? You know what? Can I tell you something? I've got Cherokee Indian blood in me. And I've also got English blood in me. So I'm mixed. And when my mom tells me that she's got the genealogy that traces all the way back to where we've got people in our family that started our family that stepped off of the Mayflower. I'm telling you. Then they mingled with the Indians and they were like, oh, look at these savages. Look at these people that, you know, but the Indians weren't savages. The Indians were just like anybody else protecting their house and their property and their farmland and their acres. You know, what was so savage about protect... You know, if you come in the name of peace with food, 
and clothing and and a Bible and, and you're like hi or ho or hey yeah hi <laughs> you aren't going to be killed but if you come in there toting toting guns and machetes and swords and and an armored vehicle and you know what I mean it's 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 how you present yourself to people and and that's why I want to make videos so I can at least share the good news of Jesus Christ what was done on the cross it, it was out of love it, it was a rescue mission See, the devil is going to rule and reign, but he can't do a darn thing until the bride is out of the way. It, I, I can't explain it. You know, I'm going to have to think on that one, but if you think that you're going to love God and worship his son, and, and then go through horrible, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. There's so many things in the Bible that, that clearly make a way of escape for us when we have no way of escape. It's Jesus. I know I, I get serious about this because I'm like, why don't people understand? Why? <laughs> it's enough to make me just want to... You know, I want to turn into my mom right now because that's how my mom is. My mom's like, why don't you understand? It's simple. <laughs> my mom used to talk to me like that too. I'd be like, yee, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm like, are you a mom or a, or a cat that's just freaking out? Put the claws back. Seriously, my mom, you know, the, the, there's something about them English women that's why I'm glad I mixed with something else because <laughs> I've always tried to be the, you know, I'm the black sheep of the family. I, I know, right? I am because everybody in the family's got either blonde hair or light, light brown hair and these gorgeous blue eyes. Just gorgeous. I love anybody with blue eyes. I, I'm just, I, I just get lost. I feel like I'm just looking at the big sky. Like, oh my God. I, I just, I just feel like, oh my God. And you know, I love blue eyes. I just, and you know what other color eyes? I love green eyes, like the color of the ocean. I just, you know, there's something about eyes. They can be pitch black. And they've got this, this shimmering mirror, like, oh my gosh, it's, it's like you could see yourself in their eyes. It's like a mirror. People with nothing but black, and they're Christians, and they've got the love of the Lord. It's like, um, there's something about the eyes. I don't know what it is, but I can look at a person in their eyes. I don't know if it's a gift because I've always, I've had it since I was a little girl. You can look at a person in their eyes and you can see pain. You can see heartache. You can see pain. You can see when they're faking a smile. You can see when, when they're, you know, they're, pre they're pretending that everything in life, is it's all good. But really in their eyes, there's this. It's like this wincing feeling like it's not all good. And you're like, oh my gosh. And you want to say something, but on the outside, they're showing a, a smiley face and you know that's not real. And you want to reach out to them and you want to shake them. And what's wrong with you? <laughs> Don't you know Jesus loves you? <laughs> Why are you so sad? You know, there's this verse in the Bible. It says, oh, my little soul, why are you so down and, and sad looking? We're not supposed to be like that. 
especially if you wake up in the morning. You are supposed to wake up happy, looking to Jesus, waiting for Jesus, looking at all the madness going on around you and going, thank God for Jesus. <laughs> Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever feel like somebody just hit the, the start button? And, you know, so now, have you ever looked at a factory? Have you ever watched a documentary on how they fill things? So first it starts off like, you know, these empty bottles are going on a conveyor belt. And, and, and the next thing you know, things are being dumped into them as they go through the conveyor belt. <laughs> well, I'm here doing my part to take you turn you upside down, dump all the junk out of you, and then tell you to open up your Bible because this is only going to take two minutes. You have to read this with me. Even after Jesus had done all these miraculous things, signs in their presence, they still would not believe in him. This was to fulfill the word of Isaiah, the prophet, Lord, who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For this reason, they could not believe because, as Isaiah says elsewhere, he has blinded their eyes and deadened their hearts so they can neither see with their eyes nor understand with their hearts, nor turn, and I would heal them. Isaiah said this because he saw Jesus' glory and spoke about him. Yet at the same time, many, even among the leaders, believed in him. But because of the Pharisees, they would not confess their faith for fear they would be put out of the synagogue, for they loved praise from men more than praise from from God. And then Jesus cried out, When a man believes in me, he doesn't believe in me only, but in the one who sent me. When he looks at me, he sees the one who sent me. I have come into the world as a light. So that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. As for the person who hears my words but does not keep them, I do not judge him. For I didn't come to judge the world, but to save it. There is a judge for the one who rejects, rejects me and does not accept my words. That very word which I spoke will condemn him at the last day. For I didn't speak of my own accord, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and how to say it. I know that his command leads to eternal life. So whatever I say is just what the Father has told me to say. That's John chapter 12, verse 37 to 50. And I love you guys so much, and my mission is to wake people up Spiritually speaking, spiritually speaking, spiritually speaking, I don't look for anything for my personal gain. 
As long as the Lord's happy with me, that suits me just fine. Seriously, it suits me just fine to tell you that you are so loved. That we are not condemned. That this world is getting darker and darker because Satan is going to rule and reign. And I am not going to pray and worship the Antichrist. I don't know about you, but I'm not doing it. So from the get-go, I'm saying no to the New World Order. It's false peace. Everybody's falling for it because it's fake. And right now I know people are like, oh, but it's real. It's real. This is what the world needs. It's you Christians that are, that are you know, keeping everything divided. Yeah, because we're supposed to. You, you don't mix holiness with Satan. I don't care who you are in the world. You don't pray to temples thinking that these little temples and these little idols and these little fortune cookie statues are going to save your life or save your soul. There is only one. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Time is running out. What are people going to do when they can't get their money? So many people have put their faith in the dollar bill. What are you going to do when your almighty dollar bill isn't there? Yeah, think about that. I'm telling you, it's all been prophesied. We know what's happening. We see it happening. We feel it happening. And I'm, I'm telling you, sometimes in my videos, I'll throw food out there because sometimes I skip meals intentionally. And I don't say that except to say, I do not live on food alone, but by every word that Almighty God has told me. That's what gets me through the times when, you know what, I haven't gone to the store, you know, okay, I'm not going to be like that widow, let's have a little biscuit and die. I'm not like that, because I'm telling you, since Jesus, there's plenty left over. Even each of the disciples, when Jesus fed the 5,000, how many baskets of leftovers were there? Twelve. So if you are going to be a servant for Jesus Christ, you will be able to live in this world and have everything. You won't lack anything. I'm telling you this because it's true. People just don't know this because they don't dig into his word. You got to dig into his word. I, I wouldn't sit here and make a video just, just to like talk nonsense. I'm telling you something here. Jesus loves you. So when you wake up and you've got that hunger, you've got that passion, You've got that desire. Maybe you're feeling lonely. Maybe it's like, oh, I wonder if so-and-so emailed me. Put God first. Open the Bible. Pray. Seek his face early. Because when you do that, the rest of your day supernaturally unfolds as it should. For his glory. For his glory, not for our glory. Come on, I'm a dust statue over here. But I've got a heart of gold because it belongs to the one who gave it to me. And you've got it too. Otherwise, you wouldn't watch my videos because that's what we're all about, is thanking God for Jesus. I know, it's so amazing grace. It is. There's even a song called Amazing Grace. And I gotta go and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.